Nor ways a land for the strong and the bold, a mysterious place with tales of old. Rivers so blue, and mountains immense, scattered with forests majestic and dense. Such beautiful lands filled with natural goods, but who knows what lurks in those dark ancient woods. There is a creature that torments the soul, they're thought to be myth, we call it the troll. Great ugly beasts just lacking all grace, I wish you luck telling its arse from its face. But then again, there are so many breeds, with hungers, desires, and such primal needs. High in the mountains, or dark woodlands too, they live in seclusion, for their numbers are few. But even for trolls, there's one that is rare, it emerges in spring, when the weather is fair. For it's that time of year, a burst of new life, to revel in glories and push on through strife. This creature is wicked right through to its core. If you meet one yourself, you end it for sure. A creature so vile, it makes your blood rise, so putrid and hated, even trolls would despise. Its appearance is odd, but that's not out of place, though a near-human look is often the case. It's quite hard to tell, at a distance you see, is that a person ahead, or something more scary. Looking normal enough, until closer in sight, it has long narrow arms that reach a great height. Legs and chest are quite normal, but large feet and toes, it has inverted ears and a sharp pointed nose. Its eyes are bright blue, its teeth are like thorns, and it scours the woods in search of newborns. It waits for deep night when all are asleep, and reaches inside without making a peep. Careful and quiet, it scoops up the child, it then makes a way deep into the wild. It's earned many titles, curses and brands, but its true name fits best, it's called Cradle Hands. Now we can begin this story off well with a Norwegian native whose name is Axel. He longed for a trip with a natural tone, so took a log cabin his cousin did own. From when he arrived, the place had an air, private and silent, which trembled each hair. He was so far away from civilization, miles and miles of strict isolation. The cabin, however, was pleasant and calm, a sweet little place with plenty of charm. He made for inside and put down his stuff, the man travelled light, which he felt was enough. Some food for his stay and beer for his thirst, a first aid kit too, if worst came to worst. He whipped up some grub and grabbed a cold drink, his evening prepared in the couch he did sink. A charming idea, he did proudly say, but a few days vacation is too short of a stay. The evening set in, so he put up his feet, feeling happy and restful, with comfort complete. His eyes feeling heavy, and the fading sunbeams, Axel fell fast asleep and drifted to dreams. Hours of darkness then passed by with peace, though this wouldn't last, soon comfort would cease. Axel woke with a shiver that trembled his hide, there had been a sound that came from outside. The curtains were open, the moon was still high, which gave the most light in the star-riddled sky. Though what light it gave would not do the trick to light up the woods whose shadows stood thick. Axel then grabbed his torch from his coat, he then swallowed hard, which caught in his throat. He made for the door and opened it slow. His mind screamed at him to stay and not go. But he had to be sure and put mind at ease that only the wildlife did lurk in the trees. He opened the door as slow as he could and peered all around of the cold, darkened wood. Outside looked clear, which did little good, so Axel stepped out and in darkness he stood. 
He took several short steps and scanned with the light. He could hear a small sound, but there was nothing in sight. Moments passed by, which felt like forever. He shouted, Hello? Which just wasn't clever. Then from the shadows came a tall silhouette. It looked like a man, which made Axel fret. He himself wasn't weak, but this still made him stir. Would the stranger mean harm? He would shortly confer. It took a step closer. He reacted at once. Don't come any closer. It stopped in response. Then in that moment, he could see its hands rise with what little light that came from the skies. They then disappeared without any trace, then pierced through the light so close to his face. <laughs> then stumbling back, in fear he did slip, and the long monstrous arms struck the torch from his grip. Those arms were inhuman, long hairy and gross, the silhouette was still far, but began to move close. Axel jumped up, for the cabin he flew, the beast let out a roar, and his fear only grew. He jumped through the door and barred it up tight. He searched for a weapon and prepared for a fight. There by the half was a slim metal bar. It was that or unarmed, which was worse by far. He stood in the centre, and the quiet droned on. For a moment he thought that perhaps it had gone. With several loud thumps, the door rattled loud. Its anger was clear as it spat, hissed and growled. A window then shattered and glass flew inside. Its arm clawed the air and began to swing wide. Axel struck at the hand and it roared out in pain. It cursed an old tongue and swung out again. They fought for a time. Axel gave all he could. In a moment it stopped and there... He just stood. The arm then retreated through the broken window. It gave a low growl as it started to go. With several deep breaths, Axel waited prepared. He'd fight the thing off for as long as it dared. But a while then passed with barely a sound. He might just be free from this nightmare he found. He slumped by a wall in a safe looking spot and tried to keep conscious lest it come back or not. He thought to look out from wherever it creep but exhaustion took hold and so fell asleep. He awoke with a shudder from his spot on the floor as the arm reached inside and unbarred the door. He jumped to his feet and without a word he saw his med pack and a thought then occurred. He moved for his pack as the arm drew back out. He grabbed for a bottle and uncorked the spout. Alcohol, yes, this would do the trick. He reached for a drawer to find a matchstick. As he searched on for a match he implore, but did not hear a sound from the opening door. Where, oh where, could that little match be? But there at the back was the box he could see. He grabbed it and turned to enter the fray, but there stood the creature, but three feet away. Standing perfectly still, just locked in a stare, its eyes burn at him, a challenge, a dare. It raised up its arms and widened its jaw, so he threw at the bottle where it stood on the floor. A smell filled the air, sharp and profound, Axel struck at a match and dropped it at the ground. The beast then erupted in a fast-growing flame. Its pain was immense, and it knew who to blame. But the flame was too much, and it just couldn't see, as Axel ran past and started to flee. But just as he got to the exit so near, a grasp on his leg tormented his fear. He fell to the floor as the creature held tight, it dragged him inside, and he fought with all might. Kicking hard at its hand, the fire was spreading to the rest of the cabin, his fate he was dreading. The creature engulfed by the fire too strong, it let go of Axel, and soon he was gone. He stood off a ways, 
and watched it all burn. The monster screamed out, Axel's stomach did turn. Night carried on, and dawn then arrived. It was then Axel knew that he had survived. The cabin was gone, and so was the beast. He was now safe, for this day at least. So remember, my friends, no matter how you may feel, just because you've not seen it doesn't mean it's not real. Good day, I'm Jar19 and thank you for listening. So, what did you think of Cradle Hands? Hopefully we'll have you watching your back, should you visit those incredible Scandinavian nations. It's definitely somewhere I've always wanted to go. The folklore alone is amazing, so getting to create something inspired by that has been a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then perhaps subscribe, leave a like, and if you're feeling particularly cheeky, maybe even a comment. I do hope that you'll join me again. Stay safe, sleep well, but remember, here we make monsters.